beautiful people out there, it is Digital Next, and today we are doing another Darman video, so let's just go ahead and uh, start this video. Congrats again on the new house. You must be so proud. That is such a beautiful color. Thank you. That's why I picked it out. I'm like the only guy who ever bought a Ferrari that thought the color red looked good on it. That's 10 points of originality to me. Thank you. I've always dreamed of having a red Ferrari. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Well, I was just talking about how nice your Ferrari is. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, hold on. Sniper Wolf just posted a new video. Gotta make sure I, gotta make sure I comment first. Okay, got it. I wasn't first, but I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm first, you know? What were you blabbing on about? My friend Chris just bought a $20 million mansion in Malibu. His house is worth more than mine. I wish I could afford an estate like this. It's way better than the place I live, that's for sure. His vacation home is worth more than my main home. Okay, and what you want me to do? You want me to beat Chris up? What are you crying to me about? I'm over here crying to you that you should be happy for what you got. You're over here crying to me because someone has more than you, even though you already have a lot. Okay, we both can't be crying. I think my crying is a, kind of like exceeds your crying a little bit, you know? You got a small popcorn, he's got the big bucket and you're crying. Just be happy you have popcorn, you know? I'll, I'll pick up the popcorn off the floor if I have to. Speaking of picking up popcorn off the floor, oh, digital, don't tell. Digital, how low can you go? How low will you stoop for food? <laughs> Hey, listen, when I was in high school and I would go to the movie theaters and I didn't have money for popcorn, I would go to where people, cause you know, people don't pick up their mess when they go to the movie theaters. And when a trash can is too full, they'll leave it on the side, just on the counter. I would take that, dump all the popcorn. I would take it back to go get a refund. I'm like, hey, listen, my friend poured a bunch of salt all over the thing and it's making all the sal popcorn salty. Can I get a new bucket and just my refill and market or whatever. They're like, yeah, sure, no problem. And I would get a brand new bucket and a free refill. Genius. Modern problems call for modern solutions. Can I call you later? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me over. Sure. <laughs> you driving a Porsche and you're crying? Hi, Mrs. Adams. I know, I know this woman did not just come home to a maid in her Porsche and was crying about owning a Ferrari and stuff. What? Oh no, uh-uh, I don't wanna hear any crying. You gotta you got be thankful for what you have. You gotta be thankful for what you have. You know, I, I get in my car and went, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, all my subscribers. <laughs> I have all your guys' names right there next to a picture of Jesus. It's not really Jesus, it's Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi just looks so much like Jesus, you know? You know Hank, right? Yeah, yeah. He just got this beautiful new estate in a gated community. That sounds nice. Plus, he's got my dream car. Oh, I wish I had what he had. Dream cars a Ferrari? I guess. I, you know what I I don't like? I swear, and you know, this, this just sounds like me being a hater, right? You know, people take pictures with new cars they buy and they, they buy a new car and they're like, oh my God, 20, 19 years old, just bought my dream car. I'm like, shut up, that's not your dream car. You got a new car, that's not your dream. I bet your dream car was like a McLaren or something like that and that's what you got. And you're saying that you, who says their dream car was a what's it called what are those cars called the ones that drive themselves who says their dream car was a tesla those things weren't even out that long it could have been a car that just came out on the market and they're like oh my dream car i'm like you didn't even know that car was being like designed it ain't your dream car shut up that's why i didn't post my car my car the car that i have now i am very thankful i have that car i love that car is it my dream car no it's not my dream car but you know what I love that car to death. True. You have this amazing two-story home in a really nice neighborhood. I would much rather live here than in the little house I have in the valley. No, I got it. You can hit home before traffic hits. I'll see you tomorrow, Ashley. Okay. There's such a thing as like, you can want to aim higher. That's perfectly fine. Aim higher, you know, work harder, aim higher. You look at nice stuff that your friend has and you're like, I want to do that. I want to do that, but better. And that's okay, but you can't be jealous of what other people have. Don't be jealous. Work it and make it for yourself and you'll love it that much more.
Again? You driving a BMW? <laughs> you driving a BMW? And you're complaining. That's like me driving my car and being like, oh man, poor people. Am I right, you guys? Come on. <laughs> Come on! Wait! What are you doing? You're a BMW. The cleaning lady has her own cleaning lady? Oh. Hey, Ashley. Oh. Um, I just gotta take out the trash and then I'm done. I hate this old house. Everything keeps breaking down. Last week it was the heater. Now it's the toilet. Who knows what's gonna go next? I'm just so over it. You think your house is old? Uh, I'd be like, okay, listen, Amani, I already know where this is going. Some lady just did this to me, now I'm doing it to you. I, I okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not about to be a part of no darn man feel good mo moment here, okay? Go home. You can go ahead, and go home. Take an early day off. I'll, I'll handle it. I don't want to hear your story. Don't tell me so you see. Well, then you should come and see my apartment. Well, at least you have a property manager that'll come out and fix everything. My dream has always been to own my own home one day, like you. But at this rate. Who knows if that'll ever happen. Did you want to borrow some money? Maybe that'll help a little. No, 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 no. It, it's okay. I just I just need to find some more clients, that's all. Why does this girl look oddly familiar? She looks like she would be the sister of Sookie's best friend from True Blood. They look related. I'm gonna solve you guys' problems right here. Okay, the girl that owns the apartment. Buy this house from this lady. This lady. Buy that house from that other lady. Now that lady will buy the estate from the other guy. There you go. Problem solved. If this housekeeper has a housekeeper, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Please tell me she takes a bike home at least. Don't. <laughs> they didn't even show how she got home. They're probably like, darn man, we need another car that's lower than a BMW. He's like, guys, I, I don't have anything that cheap. <laughs> what's, what's lower than a BMW, guys? Someone help me here. <laughs> Someone run, go out and buy something, hurry. <laughs> No, 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 this can't be happening. Don't tell me the power went out again. We were in the middle of a game. I thought you said you paid the bill. I did, okay, I did. What? <laughs> I don't know his name, but why did the kid with the beanie come out like... What's wrong, Doc? <laughs> Why'd the power go out, huh? <laughs> oh, man, I always gotta have that one friend. Man, I hate this crappy apartment. Yo, Jordan, this place isn't crappy at all. No. You're joking, right? Come on, Griff. Who will want to live in a dump like this? He's like, oh, my bad, Griff. I forgot you guys run out that cardboard box out around the corner. My, that's, that's my bad. Thoughts and prayers out to your family. I didn't mean to say something like that. My bad. Griff. I really hope you get your power back on soon. Griff, wait, hold on, man. My, my... It's fine, okay? I'll see you at school tomorrow. Why do you want him to stay? The power's off. What do you expect him to do there? Just sit in the dark like, dang, that game we were playing sure was fun. Wish the power was back on. Wish someone's mom or I don't know what's the situation going on, but I, I wish someone's friend paid the power bill. He lives in a car. That girly. Yeah, um, Jordan's power went out. Power went out? What are they, poor? <laughs> Oh man, listen, I know living in the car seems like a sad thing, right? But think of it this way, your home is anywhere you drive to. You could literally live all across the United States doing odd jobs here and there. You never have to stay attached to one place and you could see the country like that. Think about it that way. Think outside the box. Do some like Dr. Strange thing with you. How are we gonna get our apartment back? In a car anymore. I'm trying, honey. I'm really trying. I know this is hard for you. And I'll survive. The hardest part is taking a shower. I was gonna use Jordan's, but if I lived in a car, where would I go shower? <sighs> How much is a day pass to a gym? Because you could go buy the day pass to the gym and then use the shower there. Or they have those truck stops that have showers, and I don't think those ones are very expensive either. Or hear me out. Yeah, you wait till someone leaves their home, right? Then you grab their hose and you go ahead and rinse off real quick. May not be the nicest shower, but it's a shower. We could go to the beach. They have showers there. Oh, Could true. Um, yeah, okay. No. Come on. Come on. Boo! 
<laughs> that'd be me. I'd be like, come on! Burr! Come on! Burr! <laughs> Dark! Oh, car, please. On! I do decide he's gonna go to sleep. Come I'm gonna go on. back. I'm gonna go back to my room, Mom. <laughs> Turns over. I am so <laughs> sorry, honey. I never meant for you to live a life like this. Here we go. Here's the sad backstory. I'm ready. Sweet. I'm fine. Are you though? Your tears say otherwise. The teardrops on my guitar are telling me a different story. I don't know. You don't. <laughs> you don't look too happy to me, my friend. <laughs> Sound like Pee Wee. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gas station, and I'm gonna get some help. I'll be right back. I don't know how much more we could go, you know? There is no way they're gonna be like, find someone who's actually homeless and be like, well, at least you got a car to sleep in. I'm under the bridge tonight. And that's Carl's spot. But thankfully, Carl's out of town at a homeless convention. When he gets back, he's gonna want his spot back. Oh my God, please. I am literally the worst mom in the world. Don't say that. I'm sure that's not true. We're sleeping in the car. But I don't even have any gas. Well, I got some for you. <laughs> There's some for you, lady. Good night. And then I leave. Okay, listen. We're supposed to be learning a lesson here. Okay, let's 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 get serious for a moment. <laughs> We're supposed to be learning here. I am at rock bottom. That's not true. At least you have a car. Oh, it's a blessing right you. there to have a roof over your head. you sleep there? No, 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 I, I just, I actually own this whole apartment complex. I I have a, have, I just put my pillow and my blanket out here, ma'am. I, I, I sleep out here for fun. I like to stargaze, you know? I'm happy with my life and with what I have, even if I have to sleep on the street. You are? For a long time, I was sad about my situation. And one day I read a quote that really stuck with oh me. Oh my God said oh my god if it's a darman quote darman please don't quote yourself <laughs> it's funny as it would be don't do it darman <laughs> the reason most of us aren't happy is because we obsess so much over all the things that we don't have that we forget to appreciate the things that we do have and i'm gonna tell you a quote by a brave man that i know my tummy hurts i told no one sun tzu look it up it's true you're homeless I may not have a roof over my head, but I have a blanket and a pillow. I'm thankful for that. Hey, you know what I don't have? Tears running down my face like a loser. So, good night. Wow, this view is incredible. So which one's yours? This one is. I would love to have something like this. Is everything all right? It was, until I found out I never got a new yacht. Oh, cry me a river. My dude over here saying like, it was a good day. And then I found out someone, there was, there was someone richer out there. There's always gonna be someone richer out there than you. You ain't never, if that's how you living, you ain't never gonna be free. Always gonna be someone richer than you. So what are you crying about? Who cares? If only I had one, I'd be happy. Dang, maybe if you didn't spend 20 million on a house, you could have a yacht. Who knows? That was it! You know what, I'm okay. I'm okay with no one getting a happy ending. That sounds horrible. Let us see what it's like. I'm okay with this lesson. The lesson is, be happy with what you got. There you go, that's the lesson. Be happy with what you have because there are people out there who don't have what you have. And you know what? There are gonna be people who have more than what you have and that's perfectly fine. Work harder in life, get what you want. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.